Hey there everybody, I'm Reload and I'm playing Fallout 4. During my last livestream I actually played through a very interesting mission. Not so much a mission as much as a site that I found, it's called the Dunwich Borers. Right here on the map that you can see it's next to the Saugus Ironworks and just uh, in this general area on the top of the map, the top right corner of the map. Basically this was a very fun mission to, uh, once again said mission, but it's a very fun site to play through with an awesome weapon at the end. If you want to look through my live stream, take a look at the link below. But in the meantime, I liked it so much that I actually wanted to play through the whole thing with my brawler character that you've seen in my other live streams before. In any case, I'll take a look and at the end you'll see the loot that I gather and it's quite an awesome weapon, especially for melee characters. So here we go. This is not really a blind playthrough since I've played through this before, but I'm gonna try to go a little bit in depth than I did on my live stream. Oh. <laughs> I have to actually get used to my brawler character. I haven't uh, haven't played through this one in a while. I'm not used to one punching things. Actually, probably shouldn't even take all that loot that I just gathered. So at first you will find a lot of enemies that you have to deal with in this uh, little mine here. The excavation. I remember going through this with my other character in the live stream, and it was just like enemy after enemy after enemy. And one of them had a power armor. But keep in mind that this time around I'm actually uh, a lower level character, I'm only at level 15. So let's take a look how this works out. I'm currently wearing a bladed weapon. These are the bladed knuckles, or they call the furious knuckles, that increase the damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. So very cool to use with that. Okay, let's do it. And now we can mess with this guy, finally. Let's do a critical. Oh boy. That's not much. Come on, maybe you can throw him down, right? There we go, he's down. I don't know, don't know if that was actually helped me out or did not do anything to me. But let me save the game and let's go on. At least I hurt him a little bit. This is not easy, Kate. This is not easy. We're getting hit from every angle here. Okay, they're all coming up those stairs, so let's cut them off at the stairs. Can I recharge the critical yet? Oh, not there yet, not there. More matchups. More matchups. Maybe now I can get him. Ah, oh, he always gets me first. I hate that. Find the critical bars there, but maybe I wouldn't even need it. Ah, I wish you could take his frame though, you know? Still alive. There we go. He's down. He's down, but it damaged his, uh, his suit very badly here. Can I? Oh, nice. Nice quick shot here. Maybe I can get him. That's gonna be close. So far, this has been a very tough side to go through in a level 15 character. Let me see here. Yeah, let's let me drink some water and get the rat scorpion steak. Perfect. Maybe I'll survive this thing. Nice. Survived. Oh, more of them? Where are they? He's right there. Okay, I can still take him, right? Yeah, I'll take him. I'll come back for the loot on these guys. 
I like how many action points the stone blade, I mean the uh, serrated blade has. Good, okay. Okay, I think the main bulk of these guys is dead. Okay, now, now that all the enemies have been taken care of, just make your way down, all the way down. Well, almost all the way. And then basically go right here. This is where the continuation of the... Uh, I don't know what Kate was doing there, but she kind of scared me a little bit. This is where the continuation of the site goes. The Dunwich Borers. And it's a very, very interesting place to be at. One of the people who was watching my live stream said that you will find a nightmare at the bottom of the uh, excavation. It was definitely an interesting, interesting trip here. This guy done. My one of my favorite perks kicks in, the idiot savant. Ah, there's one more. I can't believe I missed him. Okay. I could level up or I could kill this turret. Good thing it's only a Mark III. So let's continue down the rabbit hole. And when you're playing the uh, sneaky sniper kind of character, it's very easy to see these guys inside because of their mining caps. Whenever you see the lights, you know they're there. So it's very easy to, to take them out. But currently, I am playing a brawler character, of course, so range is not an option. Oh, another survivalist. This one is going to be tough. But let's do it. Let's go for the critical first. And lay down more and more damage as we go along here. I think I got him. I think I got him, but let me... Uh... Yep, I did get him. Perfect. This should be easy. This guy should be easy. Come on, waster. Oh wow, wrestling move here. Even though I can't really see it. And Kate is sick. <laughs> yeah, she's weird. Camp cooler. Let's unlock that. Oh no. Wow, I actually just realized I don't have many bobby pins to go along with me. Maybe I should be more careful. Sweet. Always collect ammo. It doesn't matter whether you're gonna use it or not, because you can always sell it. So once you get to this point right here, you're actually going to meet a unnamed enemy. And personally, I'm not sure whether it's a good idea to turn on the lights here or not. But uh, the named enemy is a little strong, I would say. Uh, it's called she or he is called Bedlam. So I'm not even sure what it's referring to, but that person will be spamming a lot of grenades. Let's go ahead, let's find this uh, named enemy. There we go, Bedlam. Yeah. She is a much higher level of enemy than I am right now. And is that a sniper rifle? I don't think she had a sniper rifle last time. Man, the Furious Knuckles coming in so handy right here. Another wrestling move right there. T too bad I can't really see it. That was actually a lot easier than it was during my live stream. Cool. I'll take all of this. And I'll have to find another thing to get rid of from my inventory. One thing I know I missed during my live stream is this terminal right here. I've got no idea what's written here. Wow, well this is creepy. I'm safe in the light. Maybe it is a good idea that I'm turning all the lights on here.
This was chained up, so now the fun begins, I believe. Oop, maybe not yet. But there's lots of ghouls here. Maybe for this time around, actually, I won't turn on the lights. Just for the, uh... I want to find out if it's uh, really going to get that creepy. Without the lights. What just happened? Is it because... Uh, probably because Kate used a gun. There's a lot of spilled oil around here. I'll take the plastic fork too. You see how you can take all... Turn on the lights? I am not gonna do that. For, for this playthrough, we're going dark in the Donovich Borers. So here we go. This is the first flashback, I believe. I wasn't sure what, whether those were flush flashbacks. Ah, you saw how the lights turned off, right? I'm not sure what those flashbacks are about, because I haven't experienced them anywhere else in the game before. Not that I have played through uh, the Fallout for that long, personally, but... It's interesting. At least that part, because, uh, like I said, never experienced flashbacks in any other part of the game before. Actually, so far what I'm finding is that not turning the lights on makes it very easy to sneak up on the ghouls. Because when you turn the lights on, they all come out of the woodwork. So maybe it's actually better not to turn the lights on. And I still haven't discovered what exactly what is all this shaking here. Oop, one more flashback. Bradley Ramon, there we go, all the named ghouls are coming out. So whenever you see the named ghouls, you guys are near. You guys are near the epic loot that awaits you soon. Okay, Bob Stanson, all these crazy, crazy ghouls, I'm getting rats. I like crazy here. Let me, uh, let me get some aid back here. Real rat stack for sure. But the rats, the rats are killing me. Sounds like some sort of a cult, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll take the table knife too, why not? So all those guys you see in the flashbacks have turned into ghouls. In any case, once you're here, you actually have to dive into this uh, little pool of water. No way. Highly recommend. <laughs> Come on, Kate. Don't be so scared. Highly recommend you have some rat eggs, and I actually I hope I packed some because otherwise it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Do I have any rat eggs? I do. Let's so definitely use this up for sure. Rat eggs, and I'm gonna use a rat away and a steam pack. Save the game, and in you go. So you have to go all the way down. So once you reach the bottom, there's, you think there's nothing else here, but there's a little entryway to your right, I believe. Well, depends on how you jump in. And there's two mini nukes. There's one and two, and finally the uh, Kremf's Tooth. Hope I'm pronouncing this right. The targets bleed and are poisoned. This is, has exceptional damage. As you can see right now, it's a damage of 94. I think this is the best weapon that this character has right now, considering it's uh, so highly skilled in strength. But uh, let me get back up, and then we, we will see how this weapon functions. So take, and the way back is a little tricky, because once you swim out here, you have to swim directly up, even though you can't really see well where you're going. So here we go, save game for sure, and let's equip this new weapon, the Krem's Tooth. Let me favorite it 
of course. Always stim pack, yeah. Here we go. Looks quite cool. I don't think I'll actually get to use it until I get out of this little mine, but... Once I do, I will show you what exactly it can do. Once again, just to remind you, this character has uh, level 10 in strength. So I'm fully skilled up in strength. So all the damage you see from the melee weapons, that, uh, that's why it's so high. That's why I can one-punch people even though I'm just level 15. Alright, so that's the damage borer. So let's now actually find some place where I can test out this uh, Krem's tooth. Alright, looks like our first target. One shot. Oh my goodness. This is so overpowering. Let's get these guys. I hope they're really powerful. Still one shot. Everything one shot kills with this weapon. Sub machine gun, I wish I could take it. I just don't have enough uh, space in my inventory. So yeah guys, this is it. Definitely, definitely, I know I've said this before, but do check out the Dunwich Borers if you want to get this weapon. It is amazing. I uh, Even playing on my main character, which is not skilled towards melee at all, or strength for that matter, this is a great web weapon to have. Hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more Fallout 4 and other gameplay videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you out there in the wasteland.